Hey Micro Machine fans and collectors, today we're going to take a look at the blind bag cars. Oh yeah, get ready because here they come. Alright guys, are you ready to take a look at these? I organized them by number, so we're going to start with number one first. The lime green chemical fire fire truck. I think that's what they use these lime green one ones, green ones for. That or the airport. Look at this thing. Pretty cool. 49. Same thing as the other fire truck. Still pivots. This is still able to be stretched out here. No tail lights, but hey, at least there's headlights. <laughs> and this guy is number one, as you can see. My camera had focused. There you go, number one. If I could still tell, I just wanted to give you guys a clear look at it. Now we're going to take a look at one of my favorites. Number two, the Warlander. The Red Warlander. This thing looks a lot like a Raptor. It's really cool. Very cool. Don't need to put taillights on it. It's already red. Beautiful headlights. Also, the front of it kind of reminds me of the newer Chevy Silverados. It's like a Chevy Silverado and a Raptor combination. I don't know. Maybe the middle is a Dodge. Maybe. I don't know. But very cool. Very cool little one here. And he is number two. Very cool. I also noticed something about uh, people were saying uh, the new ones, uh, they have like the bumps on the bottom of them, like the old micro machines. Uh, they were saying that, I, I don't know, I think people might just not have noticed it. I'll do a video on that if it's something. I'm going to have to do a video comparing these because I said they were the same in the uh, video of me opening the blind bags. They're not. This is actually not the same vehicle as the fire truck one. This is an all new casting. So, yeah. Very cool. Uh, this is actually really strange looking. Uh, it looks black on camera, but uh, if you really hit it with the flashlight, it's like a greenish brown color. It's not really black, and I don't know if it's just this one or if they're all like that. Like, if you see that kind of weird color right here in the corner, that's the color it actually is. It's kind of like a sheriff color. I, I don't know. It's, it's very weird. It's very, very weird. Look at that. Very neat. Glad I got quite a bit of these. LED bar. It almost looks like it is the same truck, though. Like, if you took off the Ram bumper and the LED bar, it would be the same truck. So, I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know. We'll probably do a video talking about it. And this one is number three. Very cool. We've already kind of seen number four, the Phyllis. Oh, uh, we saw in the 20-pack. No tail lights. That's fine. At least it has headlights. Still looks good. Number four, Phyllis. Number five, the tow truck. Like the color of this one. I really hope later down the road, if they actually make tow trucks with functional lowering tow cables or hooks or whatever, that um they remake them in these colors because I like the colors of the first tow trucks a lot. Very neat. Same wheels as the Warlander. I think actually it might be the same truck too, like front end wise. Maybe? No, I think it's a bit different. I'd like to see a civilian version of one of these trucks. 
be really cool. I know they have used this truck for another casting. I believe this is the same front end the cherry picker has. So hopefully they'll make a civilian version of the tow truck. This one actually does have tail lights, which is cool. Very neat. And it says MC Tow, Micro Machines Tow, most likely is what that means. Very neat. And he is number five. And then we have the Morab. One I was very excited about. Right now there are three Morabs available until that pink one shows up and people have already been finding it. So really cool one second shows up and I can get one. I think I might be able to get one tomorrow. My Walmart told me they might be getting them in. Okay. Very cool. It's got tail lights. Looks like a little bit of a... Nope, never mind. I thought it was scratched. Got tail lights. See kind of some suspension in there. That's kind of cool. They could have put a little bit of bigger wheels on this guy. I think they could have gotten away with that. But I know people already don't like the big wheels. A lot of people don't like the big wheels. So they probably complain if they put even bigger wheels on them. But I'd like it. I think it's cool if they put bigger wheels on this thing. It reminds me of the new Ford Bronco. That and a Hummer. Very cool. Very cool. I'm probably going to make a custom one with the extra one I have. And I'll make a, um, make a, uh, a red one with a white cover and maybe gold rims or maybe just leave them stock. I don't know. Very cool one though. And he's number six. There you go. Now number seven, the police car. I really wish they would have made this one, the one that's more hard to get. Because uh, I like the blue and white police car more than this one. This one looks more like a New York City police car. Very cool tail lights. Light bar. Ram bumper. No headlights, but do you really need them? It's already white. Mm, is that say... Micro City Police. Very cool. And he is number seven. Move on to the Pasifino. Yes, you are seeing that. That car actually does have green headlights. It's not a trick with this. That actually has green headlights. Those actually are green. I can confirm that. Very cool. Looks like no weird wheel on this guy. Cool. Very cool. Nice tail light. Look at that back there. I like that three tailpipe design. That's kind of cool. It reminds me of a, um, a Pagani. Very cool. I don't know what that is on there. Is it dirt? Oh, it looks like I got a little scratch on him. Good thing I got a couple more of them. Very cool. Gas tank right there. Yep, that must be where you put the gas in it. So it must be a gas car. Or is that a charging port? Is it supposed to be a Tesla? I don't know. It's a cool car, though. Got a grill painted on it. Very cool one. And he is number eight. So now we have the first numbers of the new cars. One of my favorites, Hog Nose. And guys, apparently there's going to be a Hog Nose coming out. Um, well, I don't know if it's going to come with a, a Hog Nose, but there's a trailer coming out. And you can put a motorcycle on it. There, I saw a picture online of someone that got a prototype one where there's like a trailer and it has a green motorcycle on it. I don't know where it's going to come from, but it looks pretty cool. I hope they come out with that pretty soon. Hog nose. Doesn't have the taillights painted, but I guess that's okay. Very nice headlights. Now, I want to actually say I kind of know what the hog nose is. The hog nose is either a Tesla Cybertruck or it's a Pontiac Aztec. It's, it's one of those two. It might be a combination of the both of them. Like, the front end, maybe. 
I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not the front end. I don't know. It's a very weird vehicle. I don't know what they modeled it after, but it kind of reminds me of a Pontiac Aztec. Very cool one. I love how they put the wheel, like, on the back of it that actually matches the wheel that it has. That's actually really cool. Nice attention to detail. Let's see if they do that if they ever change the wheel of the hog nose. Let's see if they change that. To a different wheel. I think it's the same size too. I think I'm not sure, but yeah, our um third hog nose now because I have a green one. I have this one, and I did buy the 15 pack off of eBay yesterday for a pretty expensive price. So we are going to be getting to see the silver hog nose. So we'll take a look at that one. I'm really curious to see what number that one is. But this guy here is number nine. And now we're being thrown way out of order because we're going to look at this guy. Not too in-depth because this guy's going to get his own video. Very cool. From what I've typically been seeing uh, other people, so it looks like theirs has black headlights. For some reason, mine has silver. I don't know why that would be. Like, not chrome silver, but they're like a silver. I don't know why that'd be, but. Very interesting. Tail lights. Very nice. Oh, uh, and also, guys, um, I can't tell you le uh, for legal reasons, because I could get in trouble, because I agreed not to say anything uh, when I did this. But um, I'm getting most likely a gold one of these. I have not seen anybody else have one yet, but I'm most likely getting a gold one of these from an unknown source. I can't say where it is, uh, but for legal reasons, I can't say how I got it. I, I could get uh, in serious trouble if I said how I got it, but um, I'm getting a gold one of these most likely, and it'll be here probably within the next week or so and we'll take a look at it so i just need the gold pasifino and i have them all but i'm sorry guys i'm not allowed to tell anybody how i received the gold one uh i wish i could tell you but i can't because i could get in trouble for telling you otherwise i'd tell you but yeah that's the collection i picked up yesterday when i went to gamestop very nice i kind of wish i wouldn't have bought the whole thing because i was kind of picking out the cars right also a little tip before i leave um, if you already have the casting of the vehicle, they are small. So if you already have a Phyllis, um, a passive, you know, odds are you most likely won't have this one unless you got the 20 pack or the exclusive Super Van City. Um, or this one here, unless you got the 20 pack or the 15 pack, you have the Super Van City, you felt this one. Uh, if you got the super van city or yeah i think you only got that one if you got the super van city or the 15 pack uh but these ones here uh this one's probably the easiest one to find you just have to feel the bag for something big so if you're after this one just feel for the biggest one it's pretty big it takes up quite a bit of the bag as you can see it's a bigger one uh when you're feeling for this one uh try to feel for like a bump back here Try to see if you can stick your finger in an area in the back of it. Try to find the, the shell and then find the top of it and try to stick your finger in there. And if you feel that, it's most likely this one. Because uh, if you find this one, you're going to feel this. And um, then you know that's the tow truck. And then if you find this one, these two can be kind of confusing. Well, actually, these three can be kind of confusing if you don't really know what you're feeling for. Um, so you kind of want to feel for like, uh, I'd say on this guy, you want to feel for the front and feel for this Ram bumper. Cause none of the other guys have these Ram bumpers. Cause if you're feeling for this, you could feel this and think that this is the light bar. So I would say if you're feeling for this one, feel the front end to try to feel for the Ram bumper. Uh, if you're trying to find the more ab, the more abs, a bit of a hard one. These two are probably the hardest two to tell apart. Um, but you can kind of, if you can uh, squeeze it hard enough and run your finger down the back of it, you can kind of um, feel in the bag that there's a tire. There's even a couple of holes on the bags where you can kind of see them, but the problem is the list could be in your way and you won't even be able to see in the hole because of the list. 
So uh, these are probably the hardest two right here, and also the Phyllis and the Pasifino. Uh, those are the two hardest ones to tell apart, in my opinion, because they're both kind of sports cars. And the Phyllis is just a slight bit uh, longer in the front end, as you can see. Not that much. It's barely even noticeable, but if you bring it up to the top, you can see that the Phyllis... All right, actually, no, the Pasifino is longer. I thought Phyllis was longer, but the Pasifino is just a bit longer, and it's kind of hard to feel this detail through the bag, so I don't think you'd be able to feel that. Uh, but, yeah, these, these ones right here are probably the hardest ones to figure out if you found or not. And then this one here... Uh, Again, uh, feel if you got a car, and then I'd probably feel for that front ram bumper uh, to see if you found it. And um, this one's pretty easy if you can get it to the hole, especially if you have a cell phone with you. Just shine it through the hole, and if you see something reflecting like a lot, it's this car. Because I actually found this one first uh, before I even bought any of them. Um, I found this one, and I knew it was this one. I was just going to buy this one and get the other ones later, but... I decided to get all of them because I was already there, so I just decided to get them all. But, um, yeah, uh, that's my little tip on how to find uh, the cars. I hope it helps some of you if you don't have the money to get them all because it is very expensive to buy a whole box. Uh, where I live, my tax is 6%, so they're $2. It came to about $75 or $76 for all of them for the whole box. So um, if you don't have that kind of money and you want to at least get one of each car, that's how I would do it, how I explained it. If you're after this one, you're, you're in luck because this is literally the easiest one to find. And then probably the second hardest one to tell uh, if you have the right one would probably be this one here because you might think it's one of these two. And then the rest of them are pretty easy. I mean, you could get this confused with them. If you aren't feeling it right or you've never felt one of these before. Because that's kind of the problem. Um, If you don't have one of these, then you have no idea what it feels like. But if you have one, if that's another thing I want to tell you. If you have the car you're looking for, um, it might be a little weird to the people at the store. But uh, I would bring the car with you that you're after if you already have a casting of it. That way you can kind of get a feel for it. Like, you can feel it in uh, the, your offhand, and you can feel for which one that might be in the bag. So if you're after the police car and you have a police car already, just bring a police car with you and, like, have the bag in this, the hand that I would be holding the camera with, have a bag in that hand and just kind of try to run your hand up and down the car uh, that you have that's loose and then run your finger up and down the car inside of the bag and try to feel similarities between the two cars if you already have the casting like this one it wouldn't be possible because this is literally the first time you can get one of these but if uh, you can get the one i just seen like i'm gonna have to do another video because there's two packs that just came out i saw that somebody found at target um called the super exotics or something like that or extreme exotics and there's another police one that comes with a blue one of these and a blue one of these and uh an all new car that looks like some kind of hatchback lamborghini with a spoiler on it uh, i'm gonna have to do a video about those within the next couple days so uh i'm kind of waiting to see if they find any more because they said there's one more set and judging by the numbers on the pack there is one more set so there's one more starter set i haven't seen yet so i'm trying to wait till i see the other starter set and then i'll make the video on the new starter sets hopefully i can actually find them myself because my walmart's supposed to get in more micro machines tomorrow so Hopefully they do, and they're the Series 2 ones, because it, it, it is confirmed these are Series 2. Uh, if you look on the side of the um, box, it does say Series 2 uh, in the ones I saw. I can't remember the ones I did the video on. If I, I don't know if I don't remember if, if it said Series 2. I wasn't really paying attention. But, um, yeah, it says Series 2 on the uh, new boxes, so they definitely are Series 2 cars. So I just want to give you guys that little bit of helpful information, and I figured we'd check these out so I can get them put away in the parking garage. And I really hope pretty soon uh, they make a new parking garage because mine's getting full, and I don't really want to buy another one and get another one of those red cars. I'd rather have them make a different colored one with a different car, which would be a good idea if they're going to make more cars. But if I have to buy another one, I have to buy another one. They're not too expensive. So, all right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope my little tips uh, did help you. Um, 
if you're looking for a certain car, uh, my best advice to you is if you already have the casting, bring it with you, and that should help you out a lot, so, I hope you guys will take that advice and do with it what you will, and, uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.